Gangnam Monster. Hey, you have gone sweating. For real? Not possible. It's not possible. Yo! Yo! <laughs> What's wrong? Is that it? Surely you've got more than that. Go ahead. Show us. I hate this guy. Wait, what's with the attitude? It's like he doesn't even care. I've got him cornered, but he's acting like it has nothing to do with him. You're not finished already, are you? There must be more to it. <laughs> Yo, this dude, I hate him. <laughs> there is. I think. Makoto, don't don't sweat, there man. There is more to it. Thank, Thank you, it. Kyoko, for the reassurance. We just talked about the differences between this case and past genocide jack incidents. The proof you're looking for is hidden in there. This case and past ones. The differences. Yeah, we know about the things there. The cord, the cord, the um wire. You said suspend Chihiro. Difference between the cases? You want me to explain it again? <laughs> Please explain when it. I, want to kill, I use my very own special scissors. And I use those same scissors to arrange the body. Yes, yeah, that's to do the body arrangement. Chihiro was suspended with It was some kind of rope. Was it not? That's right! It absolutely was! Then there must be something very fishy indeed about that rope. Hey, Byakuya, where'd you get it from, huh? I'd never seen that rope before in my life. Obviously, somebody okay. else must have had it hidden away somewhere. Look at him with his back turn. I'd never seen that rope before in my life. Nope! No, get no! <laughs> Dang it! I've never seen that rope before in my life. There you go. No, it's wrong. Uh huh. You've seen that before. You've seen it, man. I've seen it. Actually, I'm pretty sure you have seen it before. Mm -hmm. Because you see that rope, or should I say, Makoto great building cord? making a build up. What? Mm -hmm. Extension cord? Yeah, none of these other people actually like look at the crime scene, do they? I killed Chihiro in the girl's locker room, then hung her up and wrote that bloody message. I intentionally made it look like Genocide Jack was behind it. Is that about right? He's doing it again. He's totally calm, uncertain, unconcerned. As if he's not in even involved. Wait, not even involved? What's wrong? I asked you if you think that's Shut what up! Oh yes, that's what happened. Thank you, Mondo. It, right? There's something that's still bothering me. Is that right? And what pray tell is I killed her. I really don't like this guy. I don't want to hear him talk, man. My crime. Specifically, I dressed it up to make it look like it was the work of a homicidal psychopath. What about all that bothers you? Wait. What was that just now? Something's not right. Jiro's body was definitely found in the girls' locker room, but that does that mean? Can I really just accept what Bianca said as the truth? No, I don't think so. There's definitely something off about what he said. The scene of the crime, the extension of Genocide Jack's presence. Yeah, the scene of the crime. The girls' locker room. You say you killed Chihiro in the girls' locker room, right? But are you sure about that? Isn't it possible that the murder took place somewhere else? Yep. Yeah, because the things were switched. What kind of question is that? Even in the world of disappointment, this is a true letdown. Well, I think it's entirely possible that she was killed somewhere else, mm -hmm. then carried there later, along with the rest of the murder scene. Uh huh. The rest of the murder scene? Hey, you've gone sweating. That was awfully specific. Please tell me you have a reason for saying yep, that. Yep, everything was switched. I believe I do. Ahaha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Makoto, you got him. If there's any chance the murder took place somewhere else, let's see the proof. Yep, okay, let's got We got this. We got this. There was a couple things. Well, there was always the posters. First of all, we have the posters, and we could talk about the carpet sweat. Or coffee spill. I got it. The proof that she was killed somewhere else mm -hmm. is... Your proof is some posters? The poster in the girls' locker room was a picture of a big boobed supermodel. <laughs> don't you he think said that's that. kind of strange? Why would the girls' locker room have a poster like that? Maybe they're into that. <laughs> and there's one other thing I noticed about the locker rooms. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. Right, Sakura? Sakura. You're referring to my protein coffee. Yup, the coffee on the carpet. Protein coffee? 
While I was in the girls' locker room earlier, I spilled some protein coffee on the carpet. Hey. But mm -hmm. I noticed that yep, after the, the carpet, murder, yep. the stain had been totally scrubbed mm -hmm. away. Yep, the rugs were also switched. No, that's not the stain that was scrubbed away. It was moved. Yeah, to the boys' locker room carpet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This the almost had me with that other carpet there. Carpet wasn't mm -hmm. scrubbed away. In fact, they moved all whole the carpet just carpet. to prove they didn't murder someone. That's definitely the stain from my protein coffee. I didn't know protein coffee was a thing till today. Why would they go through all that trouble of switching? That is a good question. Is he right? Could you really have gotten to the boys' locker room somehow? Hmm. Okay. So I, we have to go back to the broken, um, broken, 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 uh, it was broken E1, and then we have that one, so, okay, let's go, let's, let's go through all this first. What do you have? Hacked her E handbook. I'm sure that would have been no problem for her. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think that's it. She used the thing that was in the main hall. Huh? What? What thing? Yeah, what? I'm talking about Leon's handbook. Of Ooh, course. yep. If she had that, she could get into the boys' locker Dang. room. No this problem. dude's actually kind of on top of it. Hey, yo, we just made 40 followers. <laughs> hey, awesome. Handbook, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Hiro, Hiro actually like saying some stuff. He's, no, he's actually I don't think Chihiro used like Leon's he's actually handbook. paying attention. Like he's oh, actually yeah. thinking in a way. Because Leon's handbook was broken. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that it then? She was killed in the girls' locker room, and Bianca is the one who really who did it. Really? But still, I don't know what else I could do. Hold on a second. <laughs> hey, Kyoko, I thanks. Agree with you, though. I think you're on the right track. What the? You finally decide to open your mouth, and that's what you've got to <laughs> so say. So been quiet the whole time. There's no way she could get in the boys' locker room, right? So why are you so sure she couldn't get in? There's still one other way she could have gained access. Why don't we take a little break from the trial? I'd like you all to come see something. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Like what? We're doing. <laughs> what we're leaving? <laughs> don't worry. This will make the whole trial more exciting. Ooh, I'm sure that okay, Kyoko with those adjectives. Huh? It'll make things more exciting? Mm -hmm. Well, all right then. <laughs> I declare an official class trial recess. <gasps> Just like that. Now then. Okay, let's go. This is kind of fun. Yeah, we're leaving this, this room to go somewhere else? Okay. We've already searched this place top to bottom. What are you trying to pull, Missy? You trying to pull, Missy? I'd like you to Let her explain. The victim's body one more time. You want to check again? Be sure to examine the entire body very carefully. The entire body carefully. Take your time. Very well. Okay, soccer would do. Okay. But, but you're a girl. You shouldn't have to touch a dead body. Just let one of the boys do it. What? No one should have to touch a dead body to begin with. Like, what kind of logic was that, though, Hina? Be sure to check her entire body. And I believe we will solve this particular mystery. Mm hmm. Her entire body? I know you say that, but. What? This is. It, what is this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is it? Not possible. It's not possible. Yo, you about to turn Super Saiyan? Sakura's eyes were staring wildly at Shihiro's lifeless form. Her massive frame trembled. This... this girl is... Is what? Is a boy! Yo! Ha <laughs> ha! Yo! Ah, I see. So, she was actually a... Mm-hmm. Interesting. Thank you for confirming this fact. Whoa! <laughs> I was wondering what, why Hufumi was like chilling. Whoa! So that was something I already knew of. I was spoiled to that. Like I mentioned this in the past room. I was spoiled to that fact a while ago. I, I didn't know they were going to reveal it like this. Yo, she had he went with the reach. Oh, oh. Oh, what you guys didn't know? Oh, the Kuma. Heck, Come on. Right off the bat. You could have helped us with that at least, but you don't care. You just found it entertaining. Was totally a guy. 
which explains a lot of things. Why they didn't hang out with the girls a lot. Why they didn't want to go to the locker room with them because they couldn't go in that locker in the girls' locker room because they were a guy. I don't know his reason for hiding it, mm -hmm. but the fact is, Chihiro was not a girl, but a boy. Once the victim was male, he would have had no problem gaining access to the boys' locker room. Mm -hmm. Assuming his handbook did, in fact, list True. his gender as male, then yes, that would be but We true. don't know where the handbook is. We haven't found the handbook. Of course his handbook said he was a boy. He dressed like a girl, but he was a boy through and through. So then, the there should be got no that confirmation. issue with Makoto's there we go. initial assertion. Mm -hmm. The victim was killed in the boys' locker room, and was then later moved to the girls' oh, locker room. And the killer could have easily used Sayaka or Junko's handbook to get into the girls' locker room. Sayaka or Junko? Yes, the other girls' handbooks. Yes. So uh huh. Really was killed they could have borrowed it. Room? Yep. Okay. I still don't that makes understand sense. the motive for moving the body. After everything we've learned, do you still think Byakuya is the killer? Well, without a doubt, Byakuya huh. is the one that made Chihiro's death look like genocide. Jack did it. Yeah. But, but I. I think he might not actually be the killer. So if he's not the killer, who killed him? What? Who is what the actual killer? Were you the one who accused him in the first place? Yeah, I yeah, I was. <laughs> because he, just he seemed to be too easy going about all this. Yeah. Like he's enjoying us solving the mystery. What is happening? The way he's acting, it makes it seem first, like he doesn't have anything this, to do this with it. This is a this whole trial. I first thought it was Toko, then it turned out yo, Toko is genocide Jill. Then I thought it was Togami trying to frame her, but now it's not Togami because we're learning some other stuff. So And you think that might be because it doesn't have anything to do with him? So then Plus, if the it's not them, left behind was a Yeah. Too... Plot twist after okay, plot cool. twist. Over. He consciously chose to use the extension cord. Yeah. Knowing it could connect him to the murder. Mm -hmm. At least that's how I That's see how it. I see it as well. Like all these connections the make it points at him. found out the murder took place in the boys locker room. It seemed to rattle you. And then again, when you found out Chihiro was actually a guy. Yeah, what's up if with you that? you really were the killer, that stuff wouldn't have had any effect on you. So that's your thinking, huh? Well, it bothers me that you don't have more concrete reasons, but it's fine. I guess I'll mark it as correct for the time being. Yeah, mark me correct? What, this is a test? Screw you. I am not the culprit. I just happened to come across the corpse in the girls' locker room and decided to alter it. Nani? Are you fucking with us right now? Yeah, what? No, I am not effing with you right now. I'm telling you the truth. Well, I find it very hard to believe. Go ahead. Find it very hard to believe. You're free to be executed along with the rest of us. If you're really telling the truth, then... Why? Why do you do that to his body? No, 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 no. We gotta pause for a sec. So this dude moved the bot. What the heck? This dude freaky. What the heck? My reasons hardly matter right now. Uncovering the culprit is much more important, wouldn't you say? This will make things in more interesting. What? What the? But if Byakuya didn't do it, then who's the real killer? Who murdered Chihiro? There's only one thing we can be sure that we do know about this killer. The killer was able to gain the real murder scene, was able to access the real murder scene, which means the killer... The real murder scene was the boys' locker room, so the killer is a guy. I need to find some more clues. Okay. Isn't there a single clue that might lead us to who did it? Well, clues are one thing, but... Did nobody get a look at the killer? Well, they sure spin that like that. If someone saw the killer, they would have said something by now. I'm pretty Perhaps sure. Someone saw the victim at some point. Mm -hmm. So that's the. Yep. Yeah. All we need right now is Okay, let me window. not select anything yet. It's over. It's all over. You want to <laughs> know who saw up? the victim? The killer, and only the killer. And it's not like they're just gonna turn themselves in. Game over, man. Game over. Mm -hmm. Yeah! No! Not uh -huh. game over! No, as a matter of fact, there is an eyewitness, yeah. All we need right now is any kind of new Nope. That's the wrong one. Single clue. It's a single clue? Nope. 
wrong freaking I keep selecting the wrong things and only the kill. yeah bitch I wasn't only the killer okay I'm following I always mess up with these counter selecting things I believe someone else did see the it's like I know that moved. I know the answer but I don't know which one to select every time yeah no, okay mention it yes I did see him yeah really? oh but I suppose only Makoto knows about this yeah <laughs> Yo, for real. <laughs> for real. Yo, she wasn't about to say nothing. She was about to be quiet the whole time. Right before night time, I saw Chihiro in the dormitory warehouse. Mm -hmm. I saw him stuffing a track jacket into a duffel bag. Yeah. And then, I assume, he headed off to exercise. Mm -hmm. Track jacket and a duffel bag? But we didn't find anything like yeah, that. Yeah, that's true. We don't know where that stuff is. It seems likely that the culprit destroyed them to get rid of any evidence. Uh huh, destroyed them. And that is when you said something that struck me as rather odd. Well, I better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. Chihiro in a hurry. He was in a hurry. But why would he be in a hurry? Only if someone were waiting for him, I should think. Which means that conversely, he must have trusted whoever he was meeting with very much. Yeah. And we don't... Who were they close with? The point is, whoever he met up with is the culprit, right? So we just gotta figure out who it was. <laughs> I love this part of the song. can't even guess. No. You already have what you need to make the connection. What? Huh? You know who the killer is. Seriously? Who, who is it? Who's the killer? Think back to the track jacket and duffel bag the killer disposed track of. Track jacket and duffel bag. Let's explore that and talk a bit more about the jacket he took. The jacket they took. It was a track jacket, so... I, I don't know at this point. I'm gonna be honest. Yo, I, I don't know at this point. First of all, we know where Chihiro was heading. He was on his way to go exercise. Yeah, we know that. Okay. So next we have to ask... Why did he choose the specific tracksuit that he did? Oh man. What do you mean the specific But then again, okay. I got it! He picked that tracksuit because it matched the one the culprit was wearing. Hmm. So, what you're saying is, the killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as him? Blue tracksuit? My tracksuit is black. <laughs> you be quiet. I don't even have a tracksuit. Because <laughs> exercising sucks. I have a white tracksuit personally. I got it from the warehouse, if you must know. Did any of that really help us get any closer? I didn't care about any other tracksuit. No way. Not a chance. It was a blue tracksuit, though. Wait, Celeste never said the tracksuit color. Mondo! No way! Wait, hold up. I gotta play this through again. First of all, we know where Chikiro was headed. He was on his way to go exercise. Whoa! So did she actually say the color? She just said tracksuit. Why did he choose this? She never said blue tracksuit. Track Mondo did. mentioned a blue track for real? Track Whoa! Oh. The killer was wearing the same blue tracksuit as Yeah. No, it's wrong. Or no that's oh. Mm-hmm. Mondo man. Hold on a second, Mondo. What did you mm -hmm. just say? Huh? What'd I say? When Celeste testified a few minutes ago, she said... I saw him stuffing a tracksuit into the duffel bag. Now I assume he headed off to exercise. They never said to He never said anything about the jacket. He dries- <laughs> He did! Yo! He slipped. So he slipped. you say Chihiro's blue tracksuit? What are you- You just- Wow. Hey, no so way. What color was Chihiro's tracksuit? As a matter of fact, it was, was blue. Yo, that is insane. And before we began the trial, did you tell anyone that? Mm -hmm. The only one I told about any of this Story was you. me. Wow, Mondo. Because I, I just, I just, I, I, I stuttering. Investigation. Mm -hmm. No, that can't be it. He can't be, because no one knows where it is. The clothes were surely disposed mm -hmm. of by the time we began our investigation. Just by chance. I just happened to see it last night. He walked past me, and he was carrying the tracksuit in his hands. The, yo. No, that can't be it either. 
According to Celeste's testimony. What? She stuffed the jacket into her bag in a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. And just like that, she was gone. When Celeste noticed it, Chihiro made a point of making sure the jacket was completely Absolutely in the bag. So after then, you wouldn't have seen the bag. If you, just ran you wouldn't have, or the track you jacket. Yeah, you wouldn't have seen it. Have seen mm. You wouldn't have known the color. The suit was. Mm. Yeah. It would appear you dug your own grave. <laughs> For real. Mondo was my target all along. I had my suspicions oh. about him from the very beginning. Do tell. How, how did you know? Yeah. <laughs> what made you so suspicious? <laughs> we talked the way he was acting because I hate him. I don't know. This is literally a guess. Because I hate him? He was acting? I was. Uh, I'm okay. Well, he's acting weird? There was a certain turning point that tipped me off. Maybe you didn't notice it, Mondo, but you tend to refer to men and women differently. You only call guys dude. For girls, it's chick. I was not even paying attention to that. And after he was killed, you happened to refer to him oh, as dude. Mm. Once I picked up on that, it occurred to me that Mondo knew something mm -hmm. we didn't. That would only be after, okay. Yeah, yo, I wasn't even thinking about that. I'm not the frightful one. You speak. Not nearly as frightful as someone capable of murdering a friend. Mm. Yeah. yeah, you showed so much care towards him and then the betrayal. Mondo, was it Man. you? Did you really kill Chihiro? I, 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 uh, I didn't kill anyone. You've been all over me, judging everything I say, putting wow. words in my mouth. Wow, dang, this is kind of sad. I, <laughs> Yo, dude, it was it was cool, but what gives you the right to treat me like a goddamn criminal? Man, I feel bad about this one. <laughs> this one kind of hurts. Yeah, okay. You would never do something like that. Oh, the they accusation. they made a bond too. It's <laughs> true. My reason. The bond overnight in the sauna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he from me. He had tough. something. He did say he had That's something. What my little ghost friend is telling me. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Mm -hmm. Weren't you telling me you found some evidence? Huh? Really? What kind of evidence? Actually, no. Now that I'm thinking about it here calmly, it might not be all that relevant. Yo, speak up. I'm Jeez, tired of you, man. Mom, you just for real. You you it's had fine, you man. were the grand it's voice us. and everything, like if, speak up. If you really insist. I then... insist. Is that it Shihiro? Here? It must belong to. It's mine. It's Mondo's. Haha. <laughs> it's Shihiro. I got it. We know Shihiro's handbook was mm -hmm. missing from the scene of the crime, right? Yep. For a fact. For a fact, indeed. I was totally sure I'd found it. But it must hold some clue about the culprit, right? Well, that's what I was hoping. But it's busted. busted. Okay. Oh, turn on. The yeah, they were like so. indestructible, as Monokuma said. Be some kind of mystery in there somewhere. Oh, okay. Did the handbooks get broken? broken. Mm -hmm. How did they? How did they break? There's only one possible explanation by hitting a bug, hitting its weak spot by hacking it. Hacking it? Yeah, he told us it's impossible, so then it has to be the <laughs> other one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember that. Once I selected it, I was like, wait a second, he did mention that. <laughs> so then, so then it has to be expo exploiting a bug? Okay, I'll take those L's. I'll take two L's. I'll take that. <laughs> you already told us before that the hand <laughs> He did mention the he mentioned that before. You know what the weakness is, right, Monokuma? Yeah, what's that? You're asking me? I mean, you don't mention it, so I think it's a necessary piece of information <laughs> if you want this to be a fair trial. Uh -huh. Then allow me to make a special announcement. The weak point of my cutting edge e handbook is. Okay, what is it? What is when it? When it's exposed to high temperatures for too long, it will suffer a meltdown. The sauna. And totally break. You are already dead. What?